Hi everyone and welcome back to uh, Photoshop Elements Tips and Techniques. I want to welcome uh, the, uh, everybody that's in the local group and if you're watching this and you're not in the local group I'd like to uh, welcome you. Uh, I did a little bit of a welcome video that's within this series has some contact information and you're certainly welcome to either leave a comment here at Vimeo or to contact us, introduce yourself, say hi and let us know where you're watching, what your interests are. Anyway, well, let's go on. Uh, I saw on Photoshop User TV a little tip from Scott Kelby that had to do with uh, uh, masking and this was part of it. And of course it was uh, geared toward the regular Photoshop, not elements, but of course I'm looking for things that are also applicable to uh, what we're doing in uh, the Elements software and I wanted to share this with you because I think it has a number of applications that you might uh, want to use in the future in some of your own images or things that you're creating because we often see um, type with uh, texturing in it or uh, uh, some sort of image inside the type that makes it look cool and uh, this is one way of doing it. Now what I, I've done here is I just simply photographed a piece of wood as part of a, uh, a bar stool as a matter of fact that I use in photography and uh, I then I'll uh, put in uh, two layers of type and you see they have uh, different uh, font styles and they are different sizes. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to load this type as a selection and we've seen this before but all you really need to do here uh, is to hold down your control key and while it's, it's being held down click right on the uh, the type icon here's the one for Kansas City now you notice when you hold down your control key over here you get a little little square now if I hold down the control key and click on this uh, icon it's going to take this loaded selection away so I have to to add to the selection and one way we add to selections is by holding down the shift key so now watch over here here goes the control key you got the little square if I hold down the shift key at the same time a little plus sign pops up there and that says well we're going to add to that selection and we're going to click there on that icon and now both of these things are loaded so once you do that, you see the little marching ants, uh, click on your background layer and then press Control and J and all of a sudden another layer pops up and if you look over here, those uh, these things now are loaded as a selection on their own layer. And uh, if I, I can actually throw these away if I want to. I'm going to take off visibility and when I do that you see nothing. However, they are still there and active. So uh, with that uh, layer highlighted, I've gone into um, my effects palette and inner glow. I'm just going to take a uh, double click, a simple inner glow, they're back and watch what we can do. Now, well, here's your uh, effects icon, so you want to double click that, your layer style, double click it, and you get the flyout menu. Now let's see what we can do. If we want to give this kind of a uh, engraved or a burned in look, we could add a stroke. There's a dark stroke, and uh, we could add some glows, we can add drop shadows to it. And what I'm going to do to make it kind of stand out is to add a bevel. And now it really looks like it's raised out of that and it still maintains the wood texture from underneath. And you can change uh, your bevel direction. Here's your, your down one uh, and uh, there's up and then this changes the size of it. I think once it gets too, too big you, you're kind of losing the effect so I think, uh, probably down here is good and click OK. And then you could also uh, go into, for example, your Enhance menu and Lighting and Levels. And uh, you could do some, if you want to lighten it up, it's fine. If you want to bring in your midtones, darken it up. 
and uh, that gives you a lot of different things that you can do once you get this uh, background showing through the type. And I think this is a really simple way of doing it. Okay, we're going to close out of that and then go back to um, the organizer and um, I'm going to pick up this and uh, basically all I did was uh, with that um, uh, wooden background I just made a wooden frame out of it and uh, all I had to do is from the background layer just use my marquee tool and hit backspace or delete and it knocks this out and then to make it look like it was something that was actually joined I just went over to my brush tools at a, uh, at a dark gray about three or four pixels and uh, used the tool uh, to uh, draw the straight line there and now I, look, I have a sort of a faux wooden frame there. I thought you might enjoy these. We're going to talk again some more about tools in general in the next tutorial and I uh, hope you have a great weekend and we'll talk again.